Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at comparing interest. We're going to answer the, answer the question, how can I compare simple and compound interest earnings? So let's look at our two interest formulas. Simple interest is I equals PRT, which finds the interest earned. And then compound interest is A equals P times 1 plus R to the T, and A is the total amount. So we need to make sure that we're comparing the same thing. So let's go through the formulas. I equals PRT is the simple interest formula that finds the interest earned. We need to keep going if we're gonna find the total amount by adding the principal back to the interest. A equals I plus P will find the total amount of a simple interest account. And then like we just talked about, the compound interest account is A equals P times one plus R to the T. This finds the total amount. And we keep going if we want to find the interest earned only by doing a equals a minus or i equals a minus p, and that will find the interest earned. So when we're comparing simple and compound interest, we need to make sure that we're finding the same thing. We can only compare total values a or interest earned i. We cannot compare a and i together. So we cannot just plug into the formula and compare those two things since they're set equal to different things. We will need to keep going with one of them to make sure we're comparing i's or a's. So let's look at this first one. It says London invest $4,000 into an account that pays 4% simple interest. Ashley invests the same amount of money with the same rate, but the interest is compounded annually. What will be the difference in London and Ashley's accounts after five years if no additional amounts are deposited? So we want to know the amount, the difference. So I'm gonna end up subtracting in their accounts. So I'm not just comparing interest, I'm comparing total values. So I'm gonna to have to find total values A for both of these. So let's start with London's. Hers is simple interest. And I'm gonna find the total value of it. So I'll have to do I equals PRT. And then to find the total value, I'll have to add the interest plus the principal. So let's find the interest first. I'll do the principal, which was 4,000 times the rate, which is 4%, and I have to change that to a decimal, so 0 0.04, times the time of, we're looking at five years. So let's find the interest of London's account by doing 4,000 times 0 0.04 times five, and I get $800. So that's the interest, but remember, I need to find the total value because I'm finding the difference in their accounts after five years. So I'm going to take the interest and add the principal, which was 4,000 back to it, and I get $4,800. So London's account would have $4,800. Now we want to find the total value of Ashley's account, which is the same amount of money at the same rate, but it is a compound interest account. So for Ashley's account, I want the total value and it's compound. So all I will do is A equals P times one plus R to the T. They have the same principle of 4,000 times one plus, they have the same rate of 4%, and we're looking at both their accounts after a time of five years. So now I'm gonna do that to find Ashley's account value. 4,000 times one plus 0 0.04 to the time of five years. So Ashley's account would have $4,866.61 is what that would round to. And then remember, I wanted to find the difference in these accounts. So I'm going to subtract them. So to find the difference, I will do Ashley's, which was 4,866.61 minus London's, which was 4,800, 
and I would get $66.61 as the difference in their accounts. All right, let's look at number two. Sean takes out a $2,500 loan with a 3% simple interest rate. Jason takes out a loan for the same amount of money with the same rate, but the interest is compounded annually. What will be the difference in the amount of interest that Sean and Jason will pay after four years? So this time we are looking at I, the interest of both of these. We're still finding the difference. We will subtract after we find the interest of both of these accounts. So let's start with Sean. His is simple interest. And to find I for simple interest, all I have to do is I equals PRT. So it'll be I equals Sean's principal was $2,500 times the rate of 3%, so 0 0.03 times time of four years. We're looking at this after four years. So the interest is 2,500 times 0 0.03 times four, and we get $300. So after four years, Sean would have $300 in interest. Jason takes out a loan for the same amount of money with the same rate, but it's compounded. So Jason's is compounded. So let's look at our formulas here. Compound interest is A equals P times one plus R to the T. And then to find the interest, I'll have a second step of taking that total value and subtracting the principal from it. So let's start by finding A. The principal is the same as Sean, so 2,500 times one plus the rate is 0 0.03 to the time of four years. So 2,500 times one plus 0 0.03 to the time of four years, that would be $2,813.77. But I'm wanting to find the interest of these accounts. So now to find the interest, I will take that amount that I just found and subtract the principal of 2,500 from it. So the interest is $313.77. So Sean's interest was 300, Jason's interest was $313.77, and now I want to find the difference of them. So I'm going to subtract them and 313.77 minus 300 would be $13.77. Okay, let's look at number three. It says Jackson deposits a total of $7,000 into two accounts. Account A, he's gonna deposit 3,000 into that with a 5% simple interest rate. And then in account B, he's gonna deposit 4,000 with a 4% annual compound interest rate. What is the total amount that Jackson will have in both accounts at the end of 10 years if he makes no additional deposits or withdrawals? So we're finding the total amount. So I'm gonna be finding A of both of these things. And we're finding the total amount of both accounts. So I'm gonna be finding the sum of these accounts. I'm gonna be adding them together. So let's start with account A. It is simple interest and I'm wanting to find the total amount. So I'll do I equals PRT. And then to find the total amount, I will take that interest and add the principal back to it. So I will equal he deposited $3,000 into an account A with a 5% simple interest rate. So it'll be 3,000 times 5% simple interest, so 0 0.05 times the time of 10 years. So let's find the interest by doing that. 3,000 times 0 0.05 times 10 is 1,500. 
Oh, I forgot my decimal here. There we go. Yeah, $1,500. So the interest is 1,500, but I want the total amount. So I'm gonna take that 1,500 and add the principal back to it, and we get $4,500. So account A after 10 years would have $4,500 in it. Now let's find account B. So account B is compound interest. So we will use the formula A equals P times one plus R to the T, and then we'll be done because that one finds the total value. So A will equal the principal, which is 4,000, times one plus the rate was 4%, so 0 0.04, to the time of 10 years. So to find the total value, I will calculate that. 4,000 times one plus 0 0.04 to the 10th equals $5,920, and that would round to 98 cents. So there is the total account value for that one, $5,920.98. And remember I was finding the total amount of both of the accounts together. So now I'm going to add them together to find their sum. So to find the total value of both of them, I would do 4,500 plus $5,920.98. So 4,500 plus $5,920.98, and I get $10,000, $10,420.98.